My ex-husband, who thought I was infertile, left me 15 years ago. When he ran into me and saw my son, he trembled. That chance encounter was just the beginning of a tumultuous journey, where old secrets resurface and hidden truths come to light, challenging everything he believed about the past, present and future. Hello my friends, I am Linda and this is the Linda's Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. On a sunny afternoon, Catherine was sitting alone at a restaurant table near the window, looking outside, admiring the beautiful day while waiting for the waiter who would soon bring her lunch. Catherine couldn't even imagine the surprising encounter she would soon have. As she got up to go to the bathroom, Catherine accidentally bumped into a boy passing by in the hallway. She quickly apologised to the boy, but when she looked at the man accompanying him, Catherine was surprised by someone from her past. The man was Michel, Catherine's ex-husband, whom she hadn't seen for 15 years since their divorce. A little taken aback by the sudden encounter, Catherine felt a mix of surprise and discomfort that spread through her body as he approached, but she maintained her composure and greeted him politely. Michelle and Catherine had dreamt of having children, and since the beginning of their marriage, the couple had been trying to conceive, but without success. Years passed, and the cherished dream of becoming parents remained distant. Catherine, worried that there might be a reason behind this, insisted to Michelle that it would be better for both of them to see a doctor to try to understand the reason for this difficulty in conceiving, and perhaps try some treatment. Michelle, however proud, refused to go. Coming from a large family, he presumed the problem lay with Catherine, considering his own family history in contrast to hers, who was an only child. Using their family backgrounds as a reference, he began to accuse her of being infertile, further aggravating the frustrations and misunderstandings between the couple until, inevitably, bitterness led them to divorce. Despite the still present scars of the past, Catherine decided to greet Michelle with courtesy, understanding that time had passed since they last saw each other. However, her attitude contrasted with the cold and disdainful reaction Michelle showed upon seeing her again after so long. Are you alone? Still single, I see. Michelle said, his words dripping with arrogance as his eyes reflected a mixture of superiority and indifference towards Catherine. With a gesture that hinted at his need to assert his supposed superiority, he introduced the young man beside him. This is my son, Augustin, he proclaimed, as if wanting to emphasise a personal achievement. He's a true genius, just like my new wife Sophie, he added, nodding towards a woman sitting at another table, a trace of pride creeping into his voice as he spoke about his new family. Catherine couldn't contain her disbelief at Michelle's arrogance. After so many years, she had hoped things might have changed between them, but seeing him behave the same way, she realised he was still as proud as ever. However, Michelle would soon be surprised by something that could forever change the course of his history and the fate of his entire family. As they conversed, a young, tall and caring boy approached Catherine. Seeing the discomfort on her face, the boy with a protective and affectionate instinct asked, Is everything okay, Mum? Catherine smiled warmly at seeing her son and replied, Of course, my son, I'm glad you're here. I was waiting for you and ended up bumping into an old acquaintance. She gave her son an affectionate kiss on the cheek, reciprocating his care. I wanted to introduce you to my son, Michelle. Catherine continued, smiling as she noticed the surprise on Michelle's face. This is Nathan. However, Michelle couldn't hide his surprise upon learning that Catherine had a son. His eyes widened slightly, revealing a whirlwind of thoughts passing through his mind as he realised the boy was already grown, about 15 years old. Before Michelle could articulate any words, the waiter arrived, bringing Catherine's lunch and interrupting the encounter. Catherine, seizing the opportunity, excused herself and went to sit with her son, leaving Michelle alone with his unexpected reflections. Michelle returned to his table with his son and wife, but his mind was elsewhere. While Sophie and Augustin enjoyed their meals, Michelle seemed distant, his thoughts wandering far away. His hand trembled gripped by the idea that swirled in his mind. Could Nathan be his son? Was it possible that Catherine was pregnant when they separated and never told him the truth? But why would she hide it from him? These questions tormented Michelle, clouding his ability to enjoy the moment. Before he could find answers to his worries, his train of thought was abruptly interrupted by Sophie, who called out to him, bringing him back to the immediate reality. The days dragged on and Michelle couldn't shake the subject from his mind. 
He dreaded seeking the truth that tormented him so. How would Sophie react to finding out he had a child from his previous marriage? And what about Augustine? How would he feel knowing he had an older brother? Just the thought of confronting Catherine, fearing she might come after him demanding financial support, added a new layer of anxiety to his dilemma. But despite all the uncertainties and doubts swirling in his mind, Michel couldn't ignore the insatiable curiosity driving him to uncover the truth. How could this have happened? Michel questioned himself incessantly. He was convinced Catherine was sterile, especially after several years of failed attempts to conceive a child together. Michel's story with Sophie had been so different. A few years after the divorce, he met Sophie, and in no time in their relationship, she became pregnant with Augustin. Upon hearing the news of the pregnancy, they quickly decided to marry, building a new life together. These paradoxical circumstances only fueled Michel's doubts and perplexity about the possibility of Nathan being his son. Michel found himself in a great internal dilemma. On one hand, he longed for the truth, but he feared the chaos that could unfold in his life if he found out Nathan was his son. His pride urged him to maintain the illusion of a perfect life with Sophie and Augustin, convincing himself that Nathan and Catherine's presence would only bring turmoil and disruption. However, Catherine's persistent silence on the matter intrigued him more and more. Why would she be hiding Nathan from him? This mystery piqued his curiosity and fueled his doubts. Meanwhile, Sophie began to notice her husband's distant behaviour. Michelle always seemed lost in thought, and it worried her. She decided to confront him, determined to find out what was bothering him. With no way out and unable to hide his concerns any longer, Michelle finally decided to share his suspicions and thoughts with his wife. Sophie was surprised to hear Michelle's concerns. Her eyes widened slightly, reflecting disbelief and apprehension at her husband's revelations. Do you think Nathan could be your son? She questioned, her voice filled with surprise and disbelief. Michelle took a deep breath, gathering the courage to admit his suspicion. Yes, I think it's a possibility, he confessed, his voice filled with uncertainty. Sophie furrowed her brow, worried. But Michelle, this could stir up a huge whirlwind in our lives. Do you really think it's a good idea to seek out this truth? She asked, her apprehension evident in her voice. Michelle nodded, determined. I need to know, Sophie, if Catherine won't tell me the truth, then I'll seek to do a DNA test, he declared firmly, his decision already made. No, Michelle, you shouldn't do that, Sophie said, with a hint of desperation in her voice. We shouldn't get involved with them, she argued, trying to dissuade her husband. Let's just leave the past in the past and move forward with our lives. Sophie did everything to dissuade her husband from the idea of seeking the truth, believing it would be better to leave the past behind. She thought she had convinced him, but Michelle remained determined to uncover the truth. So against Sophie's wishes, Michelle decided to reach out to Catherine and ask to meet her. Catherine was surprised to be contacted by him. After their meeting at the restaurant, she thought she would never see him again. Remembering her ex-husband's arrogance, she initially declined the invitation. However, Michelle's insistence eventually convinced her to relent, albeit reluctantly. Catherine, I have something very important to discuss, Michelle said at first, a bit hesitant. It's been on my mind since we met at the restaurant that day. I've been thinking a lot about it lately and I want to know the truth, he stated firmly. What's going on? What is it about? Catherine inquired. You know damn well what I'm talking about. Michelle retorted. I'm talking about Nathan. If he's my son, I have a right to know, he exclaimed. Oh, so that's it? Catherine chuckled. That explains your shock at the restaurant. What are you laughing about? Michelle bellowed. I have a right to know the truth. No, Nathan is not your son, Catherine asserted. Indignant at Catherine's dismissive response, Michelle was not satisfied with her statement and continued to question her. Who else could he be the son of? Michelle asked. You, single, with a 15-year-old son, he must be my son. I just don't know how that was possible. You were infertile. You always jump to your own conclusions, Catherine said, indignant at Michelle's words. Nathan is not your son, I've already said. He is Gregory's son, my husband. Michelle was astonished, and Catherine continued. Nathan is not 15. He's as tall as my husband, but he's still going to be 14. There's no possibility that he's your son, Catherine affirmed. 
When we separated, I sought medical help to try to understand why I couldn't have children and maybe start treatment, she continued. But the doctor said there was nothing wrong with me. I was perfectly healthy and could indeed get pregnant. And that's what happened as soon as Gregory and I got married, I got pregnant with Nathan. And after him, we had two more boys, Evan, who is 10 years old, and Theo, who is seven. After the confrontation with Catherine and the revelation that Nathan was not his son, Michelle was deeply intrigued and disturbed. Catherine's words made him question everything he believed about his own fertility and the dynamics of his relationship with Sophie. Angry and confused, Michelle tried to understand how he, coming from such a large family, had only one child with Sophie, while Catherine, whom he believed to be infertile, had three children with her husband. Michelle finally decided to follow Catherine's advice and consult a doctor. Sophie, who thought she had convinced her husband to leave all this in the past, had no idea what Michelle was doing, and he couldn't imagine what he was about to find out. The medical exams brought a revelation that shook Michelle to his core. He was sterile. This truth triggered a barrage of questions about his marriage to Sophie. How could he have had a child with her if he was sterile? This new information cast a shadow over the very foundation of their relationship. For a while, Michelle was immersed in deep reflections, pondering the meaning of this revelation and the impact it would have on his life and his marriage to Sophie. He found himself confronted with the need to redefine his identity and role as a husband and father in the midst of this painful discovery. When confronting Sophie, Michel was devastated to discover the truth about Augustin. She confessed that during the early stages of their relationship, she had a brief involvement with another man from whom she became pregnant with Augustin. The revelation left Michel completely shattered, feeling as if his whole life had crumbled before him. His pride and belief in his own fertility had blinded him to the truth for so long. Now, he was faced with a new reality, one that challenged all his notions about his marriage and his identity as a father. Now Michel would have to learn to live with this new discovery. He found himself faced with the difficult task of rebuilding his relationship with Sophie from this shaken foundation of trust. Additionally, he would have to confront the challenge of dealing with his emotions towards Augustin, knowing he wasn't his biological son, but still loving him as his own child. This revelation changed everything for Michel, but he knew he would have to find a way to move forward and rebuild his life from this new truth. In this story, we see that truth, no matter how difficult, is essential for building healthy and lasting relationships. Honesty with oneself and with others is crucial for cultivating mutual trust and respect. Furthermore, this story also reminds us of the importance of confronting our own prejudices and pride, as they can blind us to reality and prevent us from seeing the people around us as they truly are. Have you ever been in a situation where the discovery of truth completely changed your perspective on something or someone in your life? If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.